Hello, your buckets. I'm Minipo, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to get from zero bells to 10 million bells in just three hours. Short answer I traded turnips. But here's the thing I started with zero bells and zero turnips. I did not time travel, I did not do for glitch, and I did this on a Monday. I hate Mondays. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do exactly that. But first, timestamps, which will also be in the description. So this video is aimed at people that already know what turnips are. If you are someone new and you're just trying to find a way to make money, then I'm going to begin with a short introduction of turnips to you. If you already know what they are, then please skip this part and go to the next section. Anyways, turnips are the game's stock market. They exist for no other reason than to buy at a lower price and sell for a profit. It can be bought from Daisy May, which is like this little piglet that appears every Sunday from 5am to 12pm. These turnips cannot be sold on Sunday, and they will rot within a week of being purchased, and after that, you will not be able to sell them for anything. The traditional method of selling to the nooklings, or nooks cranny, in your own island usually gets you about 50% to 100% max unless you are very lucky. On bad days, you could end up not making any money at all. This RNG is the risk that many people say turnips have of trying to calculate your own fluctuating prices. Knowing this, we can continue to my method, which removes any or all risk and will allow you to do it continuously sustaining your profit without having to wait for fluctuating prices. Before we start, there are three things that are required to begin this method. One, you need to have at least the third inventory row unlocked, although I recommend the fourth inventory row as well. So the third row can be bought at the residential service tent at ADB for 5,000 miles, the fourth inventory slot can be bought at the ADB once you unlock the town hall for 8,000 nook miles. Number two, you will need Nintendo Online, so that way you can visit other people's islands. And three, you will need a minimum of 10,000 nook miles. Now, how do you get your first three to 500,000 bells so you can buy turnips? Well, the answer, nook miles tickets. What you want to do first is join the Animal Crossing New Horizons Discord, the link of which will be in the description. And once you have that, immediately go to the unrestricted trade section. And then what you want to do is trade two to four Nook Miles tickets for that amount of money. Just by scrolling past the post for about 10 minutes, I found two people that are buying all Nook Miles tickets for 100,000 each. So if you want to sell fast, you can sell for 100,000. However, I wanted to minimize the amount of tickets I sold for this portion. So I made a post saying selling three tickets for 500,000. And within five minutes, I got a reply which means I can get enough money, 500,000, to buy my first inventory of turnips and more in roughly about 10 to 15 minutes. Now that you have your money, we can move on to the first technique, island hopping. I mentioned before that I did not time travel at all. However, you will have to visit islands of people that did time travel. If you're not willing to do this, then you just have to use the traditional method of selling to your own nook's cranny or perhaps finding a friend. So for those of you that are fine, then we can continue on. So using the same Animal Crossing New Horizons Discord, this time we will be going to the stock market section. Join my personal Discord as well, and it's a land of wonder and of free toilet paper. Link in description. Okay, so for the people in the buy section, these people open up their town so you can purchase turnips when not on Sunday. For the people in the sell section, when they get lucky and have a high turnip sell price, they'll open their towns to allow you to sell turnips. The idea is to bounce back and forth the buy and sell area, then you'll be able to buy turnips outside of Sunday, and you'll be able to sell at a high price without having to predict your own prices. There is no risk in this. There is literally dozens of people posting 500 plus prices every 10 to 20 minutes. The next portion is extremely important if you want to sustain your trips continuously. When people open up their islands, most of them aren't really doing for free. They will often charge what is called an entry fee. This could be anywhere from Nook Mouse tickets, DIY recipes, rare furniture, hybrid flowers, or what we're looking for, bells. Keep in mind, zero entry fee islands do exist, but I personally think these are not worth it because they often have a very long queue that could go into the hours. Selling a full inventory of turnips can easily gross you 2 million bells. So, you want to use islands that allow bells for entry fee. This is because it takes no additional effort. Bells is something that everyone and anyone can get after one sale. Paying bells in the entry fee is just deducting your profits, and this will allow you to infinitely sustain your runs. Let's say you sell turnips for 2 million and you pay 500,000 for entry fees, you're still making over a million. After you sell two deferred Nook Mouse tickets to get enough money to buy inventory of turnips, you will likely still have to part anywhere from 2 to 4 to enter the buy and sell islands. After this first round trip, however, you will be able to finance all future trips with just bells. 
Now, some people will overcharge for their islands. For those of you that are just starting to do this, you might not know what is a fair price. That's understandable. Here's a good guideline for those of you that want to know what you should look for. Buying fees. For people opening Daisy May for public use, you should look for people charging 1 to 2 Nook Mouse tickets max, and people charging anywhere from 50,000 to 200,000 bells max. Normally, you want to look for 100,000, which is standard for most of the islands I see. Now, selling fees. There's both a higher demand and supply for people that are looking to sell turnips, so you will likely see a lot more offers compared to the buy section. Now here, the selling prices are important. For a sell price of 4 to 500, expect one Nook Mouse ticket or 100 to 200,000 as an entry fee. For 500 to 600, expect two tickets and anywhere from 200,000 to 400,000 for entry fees. For anything over 600, you want to expect three Nook Mouse tickets and anywhere from 4 to 600,000. I will explain these numbers in more detail in a later section. So the next section is Q finding. In about three hours, I was able to perform nine trips. Each trip was just over a million bells in profit. An average trip will take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. And to begin, you must first start camping the buy section of the turnip sell area. Some people will use the turnip.exchange website, which is a service that automatically queues people and gives them the code as people leave their island. Then some people will ask you to DM them for the code. When you are ready to go to other islands, empty your inventory completely and sit in the town hall or your tent. Idle there in the game while you try to get into queues. For the Turnip Exchange website, the trick to getting to the front of the queue is by clicking the link the moment somebody posts it. You don't even look at the price and just immediately click and enter the queue. Once you have guaranteed your position, then read the price. If it's not something you are willing to pay, let's say it's Nook Mouse ticket only or it's like 700k buy price, then just leave the queue. After that, just repeat this process until you find something that you are willing to pay. If somebody is asking you to DM and there is no turn exchange link, the moment a post is made, immediately click the user's name and send them a message, code please. After that, read the price. If it's not something that you are able to pay, just message them, never mind, I found a better price somewhere else. So remember, if this is business, people's feelings won't be hurt if you message them like this. The worst thing you can possibly do is say cold please and then just like not message them because this wastes time that they could be giving to the next person that is interested in going to their island. Something else that you want to pay attention to is how many visitors that they are allowing on their island simultaneously. Normally, you can expect anywhere from 1 to 3, 2 being the standard in my experience. However, if you see allowing 7 visitors on the island, then I will consider skipping that unless there's a wicked good deal. This is because if there are 7 people, the amount of time it takes to enter the island and do your business will not be worth it. Many times you'll be stuck in the island for 10 to 15 minutes looking at a visitor animation and you won't be able to perform your actions because people will be leaving and some of them won't even leave by the airport. Let me walk you through what a typical trip looks like. Once you found your queue and got a Dota code, you will then retrieve the money from your ADB. Remember, only take the money you need to buy turnips plus the entry fee. I like keeping a calculator close to me. It is not necessary. This is just one of the methods to make your trips more efficient. If, if you're someone who doesn't care about math, just approximate it. It's not going to make that big of a difference. So let's say if I'm buying 4,000 turnips, which is how many I can buy with full inventory. And let's say I'm buying the turnips at 100 each, which is a little bit higher than the average price. And the entry fee is 200,000, which is also a little bit higher than standard. Then in this case, I will bring 600,000 bells. 400,000 for turnips and 200,000 to get onto the island. Don't bring any extra. This is because bells take up inventory space if they're not used, and that inventory space could have been used for your turnips. So after that, go to the airport and head to the turnip buy island. Other people might already be buying, so if you get flight interference, just wait patiently and try every 20 to 30 seconds, and eventually you'll be able to get in. Now, islands allowing three or less visitors, which is standard, shouldn't take longer than three minutes to enter. Once you arrive, drop your payment right outside the airport. Usually, the owner of the island will be there to greet you. Some islands actually fence off the airport and the owner will block the entrance until you've paid to prevent people from scamming, just running in and leaving. At this point, once you have paid, the owner will lead you to where Daisy May is. Although sometimes you have to run around to find Daisy because when people leave and enter islands, Daisy May could escape from their enclosure. Once you found her, buy your turnips and then immediately leave through the airport and not through the minus button. This prevents resetting the process and crashing and doesn't delay the whole queue. After leaving, idle outside of your own airport and then start looking for a selling island for the queue. And once you have found an island, let's say entry fee of 200k selling for 600 bells, you want to drop a stack of turnips outside of your plaza or just anywhere on the ground and then go to your ADB and withdraw as much as possible. 
This will put enough money for a few stacks of 99k bells. Repeat the same process from the buying trip until you are at their island. For the most part, you are doing the same thing. Drop out the payment in front of the airport and the island owner will give you access to the nook shop. You possibly have to wait for a few visitor animations, but after that, do your business and leave through the airport. The seller's island process will take about 5-10 to 10 minutes. Once you are home, deposit all your money into the ADB, then you are ready to repeat the process. I personally like buying and selling one after the other because I don't have to spend time dropping all my turnips on the floor. Most of my turnips can just stay in my inventory as I loop between buying and selling. Now what about a profit? Many of you don't want a part of the bells you make, but to put it into perspective, here's a below average example. Let's say you spend 200,000 to enter an island selling turnips for 100 bells each. This means you spend 600,000 to fill your inventory with 4,000 turnips. Let's say for selling, you found an island with a 500 bell sell price, and then you spend 300,000 to enter their island. To pay 300,000 in entry fees, you will have to replace two stacks of turnips with bells, meaning you sold 3,800 turnips that trip. After selling, you gross 1.9 million bells. Subtracting the 400,000 for turnips and the 500,000 for entry fees, you walked home with a million bells worth of profit. So on a low estimate, you will make 3 million bells per hour average. So once you perform this process once, you'll begin to understand more and more and each trip is going to get faster and easier for you. Not only that, the amount of profit you make will be more and more every time because you'll get better and better at understanding entry fees and all of the little details that go with this method. Thanks for watching this long video. Join my Discord. We all talk about turnips and other mechanics all the time. Hope this video helped you in making your grinding a little bit easier. So like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell for a chance to win 69 million turnip-shaped carrots. Peace, you shits!